sorted and here is your question. Right, so if you have read and understood, considering a critical care scenario, kindly tell me how would you manage this patient? Uh, I I will uh, manage this patient according to the ABC critical care case. Firstly, I call the my senior and the anesthetic. I put the patient on the upright position, sitting in the upright position, stop the injection of the epidural drugs, giving oxygen, and also exclude any. Because uh, any uh, any case uh, any case of the hypovolemic shock, I also if there is severe hypotension, I could not correct it with the fluid, so I can give uh, inotropic effect. Okay. Such a, uh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, how would you take care of the oxygen saturation for this patient? So I will give him the uh, and then the liberating mass one hundred percent oxygen. Okay. What more is important to make sure of check? Once you're given oxygen, I will check. I should be check if there is the if the cause is it is, uh, it is due to anesthesia or due to hemorrhage. This is the first. Yes, and I am sure and... you, I should ensure uh, stop any injection of the epidural drugs. And you have opened from one corner. You have to make sure if it's connected and if it's coming actually. Yeah. So, all right, can you please tell me why this has occurred with the patient? So, it is uh, for, for this case, it is yes. uh, injection in the P3, P4. It is maybe a high injection. Right. Yes. So, it is maybe a high injection uh, intramuscular, intra, intercostal muscles paralysis, diaphragmatic paralysis, uh, the distributive uh, shock, uh, hemorrhagic get... shock, or yes. hemothorax, hemothorax. Where should it? Should... That have been given initially on the on the first place. So according they according to the to the operation, uh, to the site of the operation, and there is many factors related to the uh, related to the age, height, set, the, the, the site of the operation, and also the dosage with the level. Okay, can you tell me why this procedure was carried out uh, in epidural block and not in general anesthesia? So it's, yeah, because it is long of procedure. So it yes. is attenuated, attenuated. It's, a, it's a long procedure, can it pro provide post-operative analgesia and also attenuated surgical stress for this patient. So what, in other terms, what are the advantages of uh, giving epidural block? So, if you are giving a video block, it is it is it's important to uh, just a minute. If we're giving the video block, it is attenuated uh, attenuated the stress of the surgery. So, good monitoring, uh, post operative can be continue on the fluid analgesia, yeah, uh, improve outcome. All right. And also reduce the risk of the DVT. All right. Okay. And one was you can manage the pain as well. Okay. All right. Can you name a few other places uh, where this epidural, like in few other surgeries where epidural block is given? With so the we, we can give, yeah, we can start in the sacral region for the perineal. From the L2, we can give for the foot and ankle, uh, for the leg and uh, thigh for. Uh, T uh, ten, that is can be for vagina or hip. The T six for intestinal, and T four uh, for upper abdomen. Okay, uh, can you please tell me why would you check temperature in case of this? 
because the rate of the fiber in the spinal so the first we affected the, the temperature okay can you tell me what are the factors which affect the efficacy of the epidural block so efficacy of the epidural fluid it can be related to the patient and related to the, the to the drugs to the medication our firstly for the patient is the height the age and weight and the posture for the for medication it is dependent on the dose concentration vasoconstrictive all right okay can you please tell me what are the what are the contraindications of giving epidural block when you should not give if there is any increase in track, you disappear. Mm. Your voice, I can hear you. Mm. Okay. Can you please tell me, uh, how would you, can you please tell me, how would you differentiate between the epi high epidural block and distributive shock? So distributive shock in this cause is one pink and bradycardia, one pink yes. uh, preferably, but the hypotension, it is called the tachycardia hypotension, called the uh, climb preferably. Okay, why patient has developed bradycardia in this case? Because we, we, we block a parasympathetic, we block activity from the T1 to T5 and uh, antagonize for parasympathetic can you please tell me a few of the systemic effects of epidural block or epidural analgesia? So it is uh, for the cardio for the cardiology. It is causes hypotension, uh, bradycardia, decreased cardiac output. For the for the yeah for respiratory, it is uh, just a minute. I don't remember that. Um, it's for respiratory is maybe because it is it is giving high up, so to, it may be because affected of diaphragm, so decrease breathings. And uh, this is the, uh, the how would you uh, new more yeah. How uh, how epidural block is different from spinal anesthesia? Or this is anesthesia? in the epidural. Yeah, this is in the epidural space. And this is in the subarachnoid space. Okay, can you name the types of spinal anesthesia that you know? Sorry? Types of spinal anesthesia that you know of? So, so it is, can be used, the uh, uh, spinal anesthesia it can be regional, it is epidural, and the spinal anesthesia. And it can be, it is local or spinal, are, okay. Or, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Right. So which one would you prefer, epidural or the spinal? It is, I, I think it's epidural, yeah. Okay, why? Because the epidural, it is effect, it is give the, uh, it's spinal anesthesia, it is give the uh, anesthesia for level below, while the epidural is very around. Okay, can you please tell me, how would you manage the patient's Hypotension and bradycardia. What inotropes would you suggest? So I can give him uh, either epinephrine or phenylephrine. I can be giving a canadotropic atropine. What are the advantages of giving epinephrine this for this patient? Uh, in case, yes, it is will lead to co to the contractility of the heart, okay. uh, increase contractility of the heart and vascular resistance it increase. So increase the blood pressure. Would that affect with the paresthesia of the whole low limb that patient has suffered? No. Yes, it's affected. Yeah. Well, oh. one thing we, we yeah. When you, ex Bell has gone, so now we are discussing. So uh, when you were telling me the management in the beginning, yes. what was yeah. the most important thing that you forgot to mention? I don't remember. I'm just waiting for... Uh, your, okay. your... Uh, once you you told me all the ABC management of this protocol, then yeah. you make sure that you'll stop epidural anesthesia as well. Yeah. That, that is most important. Uh, both of you are ready. I'm starting the timer.